a small spherical ball of radius r falling through a viscous medium of negligible density has terminal velocity v so it is falling through a viscous medium of negligible density okay so if we take one ball okay the force which is towards down downwards is mg and then there is air drag which is 6 pi nita rv so this we should understand that the air drag force force which is air drag is 6 pi nita rv nita is the coefficient of viscosity r is the radius of the ball and v is the velocity of the ball okay and this is going to get applied in direction opposite to velocity okay so the ball is moving you know, down at the same time see this is moving in a viscous medium at the same time there will be an upthrust also okay upthrust is the volume of the ball into rho of the medium into g however it is mentioned here that the density of the medium is negligible so therefore this is to be neglected okay so now there are only two forces which are acting one is mg one is 6 pi nita rv so therefore since uh, it is mentioned here that the ball has gained terminal velocity what is meaning of terminal velocity that the ball is now not going to increase or decrease its speed that is terminal velocity so therefore um, we have to equate both of them since the force has to be zero net force has to be zero so therefore mg is equal to 6 pi nita r into v this is first equation another ball so this ball had mass m this ball has also mass m okay so therefore the weight is going to be mg but now the radius has increased to 2r so therefore the air drag is going to be 6 pi nita r into v and this r is actually 2r okay let us say r, take r1 so this is 2r so therefore mg is equal to so therefore let us say you know the terminal velocity be v1 <coughs> so therefore mg is equal to 6 pi nita r1 v1 now this r1 is equal to 2r so therefore 6 pi nita into 2r into v1 okay now equating both first and second equation so 6 pi nita rv is equal to 6 pi nita into 2r into v1 so therefore the 6 pi nita is gone gone and r and r are also gone so v1 becomes v upon 2 so therefore a is the answer thank you